back out to Las Vegas as we get ready for uh, the return this weekend. Uh, Perth last week, Las Vegas this week. Let's welcome to the program Jim Miller. Jim, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for having me on. We appreciate your time. I know it's just the start of fight week, but are they all the same, or do you purposely try to do something to kind of change fight weeks up for you? Um, they're, uh, they're relatively all the same, honestly. Um, it's uh, a little bit... Uh, little bit like blast in the past uh this week because um through the whole covid thing we were actually staying at uh like the embassy suites or something like that we had our own like private hotel and it was really secluded and it was actually kind of awesome um for us athletes but now we're we're back into the into the uh casinos here so you you kind of have to deal with some of the the typical stuff that we used to have to deal with uh you know before covid and and uh it kind of it definitely feels a little bit more like uh, the olden days. Getting through the casinos, getting to, to do the media events or the workouts with all the fans and such? Yep. Yeah, exactly. What's the biggest change, you know, in the sport from when you first started uh, two and a half years ago? That's a joke. Um, and, and today. <laughs> Thanks. Um, you know, the... I mean, the biggest change is just the size of it, I think. You know, I mean, uh, I, I, I came into the UFC in 2008 um it's just been this steady growth over the years and uh it, it is a it is a huge sport and uh you know i i i help coach uh youth wrestling my my boys are uh just finishing up their wrestling student they actually have a a tournament uh on fight night or on fight day um to, to finish out their season and and a lot of the a lot of the wrestlers on the team they watch the sport they they they've got their favorite fighters and uh unfortunately some of them it's not me uh, but my, you know, my plan is to go out on Saturday and, and, uh, make them change their minds. But, uh, yeah, like, uh, now I'm, I'm seeing this, this generation of, uh, you know, 10 to 14 year old kids that are, that are big fans of the sport. And, and, you know, that, that wasn't there when I was, uh, you know, came into the UFC in 2008. MMA is one of the few sports that I've watched that you kind of get better with age. You know, you have, um, with Tessera winning at his age and John Jones getting up there and you're still being great and everything like that. And how do you go in when you're fighting a younger person? What is that like for you? Like understanding, like I have so much more experience. I'm used to being in certain positions. How do you use that to your advantage? Um, you know, it's a, it's a tool. That experience um, is definitely a, it's a tool. It's a weapon. Um, so there, there's a level of comfort having seen just about everything anybody can do inside the octagon and, and having fought the wide variety of, of body types and styles, um, like there's no there's no new thing that I'm gonna see inside there. So um, that is, that definitely builds confidence. Um, but you know, this is a this is a sport. Uh, it's, a, it's a young man's sport. So when you when you get older, you gotta you gotta kind of adapt and, and evolve your, your training and. Um, you know, and, and the way you fight as well. And, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm kind of figuring that out. And, uh, you know, I think the last couple of fights has proved that. Has weight cut gotten harder or easier for you as your career has gone on? Um, it's, it's gotten a little bit easier for me um, as of late because I've, uh, I've taken some size off. Um, you know, uh, I, I used to be one of the lightweights that walked around about 190 pounds. Um, this is, this is a while ago now, but, uh, when I, um, was first diagnosed with Lyme disease in, in 2016, uh, the medication I was on, uh, made me go to the bathroom a lot <laughs> and it was really hard to keep up with that. So, uh, you know, the, the antibiotics really tore my stomach up. So, um, I ended up losing about, uh, like at least 12 pounds of muscle in, in 2016. So. Um, nowadays, it's a, it's a little bit easier for me because I walk around uh, like lower 170s, and um, you know I, I know the right things to do. Uh, I eat really clean, um, so yeah, the weight cuts have have, have uh, gotten pretty pretty easy. When when you say you eat pretty clean, does that mean like eating Reese's and stuff is bad? <laughs> well, if you're washing first, it. You know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, a little hand sanitizer that'll, that'll, that'll go clean them right up. Um, you know, yeah, like uh, I try to, I, I, I really make an effort to uh, to eat like from Whole Foods and, and uh, 
you know, it takes effort and, 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 and work and, and a lot of time in my day to make dinner that way, uh, you know, for me and my family. But uh, I feel like the fact that I'm still around and, and uh, you know, still uh, put, putting guys away is, is kind of proof that uh, my lifestyle is working. So, Jim, I, I don't get hit in the head for a living. Um, and I've been to so many of these events that I'm like, just like you said, they're all kind of the same. I remember talking to you behind this curtain and after your interviews and hanging out in the back. I don't know what arena it was. I don't know what city it was in. But what over your career has stuck out the most? Like, is there certain memories that you have that are just iconic? Or you... um, I mean, definitely, definitely the, the some of the fights. You know, uh, I, I I'm I've been perfectly honest about it. You know, like when I fought. Uh, when I fought Donald the first time, you know, uh, he, he hit me to the body in the very first exchange of the, of, of the fight that, uh, that Bruce, it bruised my spleen. And, uh, so every one of the front kicks that he was throwing was just to a soft belly. And, uh, it, it really hurt. And, uh, you know, I feel like a decent amount of fighters probably would have been stopped with that, that, that exchange, but he ended up, uh, you know, knocking me out, uh, you know, into the second. But, uh, I had, I had a little bit of PTSD from that. And, uh, you know, like when, when my training partners and coaches would mention fighting Cerrone again, I was like, man, you know, like I still remember how bad my stomach hurt and my body hurt in that fight. And I was like, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I want to do it, you know, and then, and then to get the opportunity to fight him, uh, you know, on, on, on short notice on that last one, and, uh, it to be, uh, as poetic as it was to be tied with him for all time wins and, um, to, to take that title from him, uh, it couldn't have couldn't have happened better, and I was able to co- overcome that uh, that little bit of nervousness that I was dealing with. With you bringing that up, you of your uh, most fights in UFC history, is your plan to be like Tom Brady and make that record so unattainable, uh, unattainable that nobody could catch it? Um, I, I mean maybe you know, like my my goal uh, my goal is to get to UFC 300, um, and I think that uh, if I can get there in my the way that I want to, I think that'll that'll be it. I'll call it quick, you know, in about eighteen months. Um, but I, that's that's not like you know me fighting uh, Saturday and and uh, you know maybe fighting once in between. I'd like to fight. I'd like that fight to be my forty fifth UFC fight. And, um, I don't know if anybody's going to get to that. Um, and honestly, uh, that's that's really not a, not a concern of mine. You know, like there are a couple guys that are. That are right behind me, Arvlovsky, uh, you know, Guida's coming up, he's still around. Um, so uh, I think a majority of the guys that, that ha- are right there uh, behind me, there's only a couple that, that could get to that point where they, they uh, have as many fights as me. But um, it's really not one of those things that I'm, I'm majorly concerned about, like getting out of reach of them. Um, I just want to, I want to do it in my, my terms, my way, you know, um, uh, still to this day, I, I, I fight. I fight the way that I fight. I, I, I don't go out there and I don't. I don't. I don't fight conservatively. You know, uh, um, my my goal is to put opponents away, and and I haven't won a decision since 2016. You know, um, so that's that's something. That that's something that nobody will you know uh, get to is, is like the style of fighting that I've been able to put together for this this long uh, because. The guys that are still sticking around, they're they're not fighting as aggressively and they're not putting away opponents. Like I do. Right, for sure. Uh, give me your thoughts on your opponent Saturday. Uh, you know, Alex is uh, he's a tough dude, well rounded. Um, you know, uh, it's uh, it's a fight in the UFC, and it's uh, I'm, I'm I'm excited for the fight. I really like the fight. Uh, I'm super happy that he that he hopped in on short notice. Uh, I know it's not always easy. Um, you know, uh, I'm one of the guys that I, I appreciate every opportunity, um, because, uh, you know, I do know that at one day it's, it's, it's going to stop, you know, like it, it, I'm not, I'm not going to be in fight week, uh, you know, preparing, uh, you know, I might be helping somebody, but I'm, I'm not going to be in there, you know, it's not going to be my fight. So, um, yeah, I like, uh, I, I'm looking forward to a, a, a great fight. Um, like I said, he's, he's tough, he's dangerous and, uh, that that gets me that gets me fired up. 
I kind of mentioned when, when you mentioned about back in, in the casino hotels and the fans and, you know, always mm. uh, fans always getting autographs, getting pictures. I'm curious, what have you collected? What have you kept from your career? Um, you know, I, I've uh, I've kept uh, as many like gloves and, and fight shorts as, as I uh, can remember to, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, I, I tried to I, I got to a point where I was like, oh, man, I better I better start keeping some of these for my kids. <laughs> right, right. So, uh, you know, um, I've, I've got that type of stuff, and I've got uh, I've got posters, you know, especially the ones that, that I'm on, um, and you know, the couple main events that I was in. So, um, but I'm, I'm not I'm not like a huge collector of stuff. It's more so that I can, uh, you know, give it to the people that I, that uh, that means something to me, and, and, and give them a little bit of a. Uh, you know, uh, uh, souvenir of, of right. my, my career. Sure. What What do you consider Saturday? Do you consider Saturday night work, or are you considering Saturday night, you know, enjoyment from all the hard work to get to Saturday? Um, the the latter. You know, uh, it's uh, it, the the hard part is the training and and you know and the weight cut. Like that's the that's the stuff that like you go through. I mean, I love training. Um, but it, it does, it wears on you, you know, I mean, there's a reason that, that, you, you know, it's called the grind, right? Like, uh, that's what it is. You're, you're day in, day out trying to push yourself a little bit further than you, you know, went yesterday and, and, uh, that hurts. <laughs> it means you're sore. It means you beat up. It means you're tired. And, uh, you know, come fight night, uh, I, I, I get nervous for every fight and you know i'm going to be nervous when i'm warming up for the fight and there's going to be butterflies in my stomach um but as soon as i stand at that curtain and it's time to walk out everything goes away and it's like now now's the time to to go out and uh and and make it worth it you know i take all this time away from other things that i like to do and my family and uh you know spending time with my kids and, and friends and uh and i and i bust my butt in the gym and I do the extra work. I, I wash my diet. And I, I, uh, make all these sacrifices to, to what a normal life would be. Um, and, uh, you know, fight night is when I get the, I get the chains taken off of me, you know, and I, and I get to go out and there's nothing, nothing to hold back. You know, it's, it's 15 minutes of just all out, you know, give it a hundred percent. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of the reward great stuff jim thank you very much for your time enjoy yourself saturday night i know we have your address we're going to send you a care package from eight man strong as well as a case of salsa from blue smoke salsa the best stuff you've ever had uh, have a good time and enjoy it on saturday thank you very much that's my plan thank you jim miller back in the octagon as he extends uh, that record but like he mentioned andre orlowski has a good 15 20 years left He'll be 93 and still fighting. <laughs> this is Knockout Radio, brought to you by Eight Man Strong and Staff Sub.